No! Perfect example of me being that bitch. As per usual with all of my what's in my bags, I wanted to go ahead and do this so that I can take this opportunity and clean out my bag slash reorganize it. As I was saying, I'm going to go ahead and just film a what's in my bag video. My necklaces are tangled. Does this happen to you guys? Like, and if not, how do you prevent that? Because every single time I see somebody wearing more than one necklace, they're not intertwined at all. And I'm just like jealous. This bag here is from Nine West. It's silver hardware. This bag is basically just one of those bags that I went in. I had another purse. It's somewhere around here and I'm pretty sure it's in there but I do not want to get it. It was the same size and everything. It was like a um, neutral kind of color but the dye from my clothes rubbed off on it and really damaged it but I love the shape so much I went back and I was looking for another purse the exact same size and everything and I found it same brand I wasn't really a fan of the white you know trimming but I was like whatever dude it was only $16 so I got it it's a crossbody bag um, I'm trying to lay off the backpacks okay I'm getting made fun of by my friends and shit so uh, let's go ahead and try to be adultish I guess so I'm wearing a crossbody. This hurts the shoulder right now because it's pretty heavy. First things first, I don't carry it with this way out. I carry it like this. So I have this on my body because I don't like this sound. I can't take this key off either. I don't like this lock off either. And even if I did, I would just have like this random loop hanging out. So I just keep it towards me just so that it doesn't look designer or anything like that because everyone knows Nine West tries to be fancy. Let's open this shit. Smooth. Like, I really have to say that Nine West is a pretty decent, like I love the bags, like my gosh. But the strap, however, like it's fraying, it's fraying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the strap off because I have a shit ton of purses. I have a black strap with silver hardware that can clasp on here and just use those instead. So this is what my bag looks like right there. Um, yeah, the first thing that you see is my iPhone 6S Plus. There's nail polish on here. Okay, I was at Sally's the other day. I'm not trying to... No, no sorry. No, I was at Sally's the other day and I dropped a nail polish and dude, it broke and it spilled all over me. I felt so bad because dude, working in retail, I know that shit sucks. So I felt so freaking bad that I helped clean it up <laughs> and I paid for the nail polish. I felt so fucking bad and it was like this reddish color that I would never fucking wear. Anyways, so there we go. Little pocket knife. I have trash it's a receipt receipt i got my nails done yesterday um tomorrow's my birthday it's supposed to snow tomorrow but i mean the sun's out so hopefully it's not i have a gift card from my grandmother this is where i got my nails done last time which was pretty decent it's on the south side this one is where i got my nails done this time which is on the east side i have some cash I have Kleenexes okay hashtag mom life you need to have them it is what it is gum I don't want stinky breath dude this is a Sephora gift card I think I've had this since Christmas but there's like a compact mirror in here another receipt do I need this what is this oh this is my receipt for that broken nail polish. So I have this little Jujube small set piece and I have to say that this is kind of giving me some problems. I think I need to upsize this. I in here is like kind of my like cause like this is just where everything is, okay? So this is like the main part of my purse. I like to have everything standing up so that I can see it. So we're just going to go through it really freaking quick. Lighter survival needs. I have the Ofra lipstick, liquid lipstick in Americano. All I really do is like I dab it on my lips and then I like blend it out. My contacts case, cause I'm blind. I have this um, DIY body lotion that I made and I put it in this like old purity container, not realizing that this is not a sticker. Like it's like literally like embossed or hot stamped on there or something. And 
oh i love it like i put like shimmers in it so it gives me like a beautiful glow i have artificial tears dry eye okay i have a diy lip balm you're gonna notice hippie vibes up in here i am definitely hippie-ish and i say ish because i'd rather wear black but i do have a diy lip balm this cold springs cannabis cold tea tree and peppermint muscle rub i like using this when i'm starting to get like a migraine or something and sometimes like if i'm getting like a little like kink or something <laughs> i do put it on my body and obviously i love this shit you can tell i use it a lot it is basically like coconut oils and stuff like that so you do you i wouldn't recommend putting this in the car i had it in the car it melted don't do that the next thing in here is the hemp seed guava lava this is like the lip balm and this is from earthbound my favorite store one of my favorite stores um i will say though that this is not like the most moisturizing lip balm ever so i don't really use it that much and i'm thinking about like kind of using it to put in other lip balms because i don't know i didn't really like it that much this is my go-to lip balm though this is the carmax you guys know that i love that this is from josie moran and this is the surreal argon finishing balm I like to have this in here just for like, I don't wear foundation or anything like that, but sometimes like the nose area can be like pretty harsh. So I'll just get this and I'll like tap it on there and it kind of like gives you a little bit of a radiance while diminishing pores and making you look really nice and airbrushed. So that's what that is. That was the main shit. This is the wallet that I have in here and you guys know for airhead reasons i like to keep it chained in here this is a guest wallet so this is the actual wallet itself and it came inside of here and i just took it out because i don't really need that wallet right now i also have like the strap for that little set piece just in case a mechanical pencil a pick like when it parts all the way to the back like on second day hair or something hate it so i always have this and then i also have chains at the bottom because i need to clean up my wallet so that's it for the main compartment my wallet is just going to go back in there because you know it's chained and then i have a zipper pocket this is the only interior pocket that's in here and i don't mind i hate it when small bags like this have an extra one right here in the front it just gets in the way okay i have spare keys because you should always just have spare keys like on you always even if it's like one of the ones that are made at heb or something okay anyways a nail file nail file because i am that bitch two pins another lighter that could come out my medication and keep in here i have an indicare lip balm and then the last thing that i have in here is this port that is actually supposed to be in my car looking at this it's kind of hard to separate with any of this so as i sit here and overthink my dilemma i'm gonna end this video so guys that's all that i have in my bag Thank you so much for watching me. If, ooh, wait, was that all? Yeah, that, that was it. It was it was the key in my wallet that fell out. Okay. So yeah, as I was saying, thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked my what's in my bag, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell if you liked it. Leave any comments down below. I'll get back to you as fast as I can, and I will see you next time.